Hello guys and welcome to a new video. I'm finally back after a very long break and in case you don't know one month ago I made a post about an injury I had in my thumb which forced me to take a long break from the game. This injury has many different names like gamer's thumb or texting thumb and it starts with pain around the joints that spreads all the way across the back of your thumb and it can happen to anyone whether you're gaming or texting or using computers at work. So I want to tell you guys real quick what I did to recover from it because as gamers we're very vulnerable to this injury and not many people know about it including me i had to do my own research but before we start i want to tell you guys about a free way to earn rewards loot boy is a free app available on ios android app gallery and pc with over 15 million registered users and a 4.6 stars rating on google play this app provides free loot packs that you can open using loot coins and premium loot packs that you can open either with real money or for free using diamonds which you can collect by finishing tasks so i'm gonna be using diamonds to open 10 words on premium loot packs just make sure you read the description of the pack you're opening so in this pack i'll be getting four random reward cards and one premium card that has a chance of getting either card points or other rewards including full pc games like in this pack i got four random rewards two free starter packs one in villagers and heroes and another in blood of titans as well as 2000 loot coins that i can use to open other free packs and a free tier 3 us cruiser ship in world of warships as for the premium pack i didn't get card points but instead I want a full PC game for free and as an extra reward for opening a bundle of 10 packs you get a free black market bonus loot pack that includes cheat chips which you can exchange for rewards of your choice loot boy doesn't only give you the chance to win free rewards but it also allows you to meet other fellow gamers in the chat radar section just set your own gaming preferences and it will automatically match you with other gamers that share the same interests, so you don't have to game alone check out the link in the description and by using my code loot boy will give you a free community loot pack exclusive for new users only and you can redeem it from the settings by clicking redeem code back to the video on how to deal with gamers thumb in three simple steps the first and the most important thing i did is to stop playing immediately and take a long rest because the more you play the worse it gets and the recommended rest duration is between four to six weeks and in my case i took seven weeks of rest because my injury was really bad as i kept playing despite the pain and during these seven weeks i avoided using my hand unless i really had to the second thing I did during the rest are hand exercises and there are so many exercises on YouTube but be careful because some of these are actually misleading and can make your injury worse. But anyway I'll leave a link in the description to the best and the most efficient one that actually helped me with my injury. And finally get yourself a hand splint. You can find them in pharmacies just make sure you get the right one because there are different ones for different injuries. So what it does first of all it keeps the thumb in a fixed position to avoid the pain caused by moving your thumb. And second of all it helps a little with the recovery process. Now let's move on to the gameplay. And you know every time I take a break I become rusty. My aim and movement are so bad I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that. So I always wait for Alcatraz to come out because it's the best and the fastest way to get your skills back. So this game was a bit challenging mainly for the fact that I was still in the process of recovering my skill back and it had a bad start but I made a nice comeback and the late game was so much fun I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started I got overconfident there, the enemy was low so I went to finish him off with the remaining 5 bullets. But his teammate was there and kinda messed up my rush and I got stuck reloading. And to make things worse I really wanted to land on cell house to go for a revenge but the game decided to throw me near ducks. This has become an annoying trend by many shotgun players where they would wait for you behind cover to push them to get an easy kill. I expected this one to camp at this corner but he chose to camp underground so I surprised him from the top and honestly sometimes I just take my chances and rush them anyway because it gets boring. Hurt. 
Unlike the first death, I think I did well here. I knocked two, but I got sandwiched by the other two, and they melted me from both sides. But luckily this time, the game gave me a chance to get my revenge. Is coming. Find the hacker nearby. Quickly. System hack. Your teammate has been killed. System hack. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and if you did a like would be highly appreciated and remember to try and avoid playing for long hours and rest your hands so you don't end up like me and don't forget to check out loot boy and use my code thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video peace